Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to check whether a number is integer in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the value 5 that we are storing in the data object x in line 3 of the code. So if you run this line of code a new data object is appearing at the top right which is called x and this data object is simply consisting of the value 5. So obviously our example value 5 is an integer or is a whole number. So you might think, okay, I can check that with the isInteger function. However, if you apply the isInteger function, as you can see in line 5 of the code, you can see that the RStudio console is returning the value false. And this actually means that our value 5 is by definition of the R programming language not of the integer class. So we can also double check that by applying the class function as you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console by writing class and inserting the name of our data object within the class function and now you can see that our data object x is numeric. It is not integer, it is of the class numeric. And for that reason the isInteger function is returning the value false. However, if you want to check if your value, in our case the value 5, is an integer or in other words is a whole number, then you can apply one of the codes that you can see in the remaining code of this tutorial. So in line 7 of the code I'm using the round function to check whether our data object is a whole number. And within the round function I'm simply specifying our data object x and then I'm checking if the rounded version of our data object is the same as the plain data object. So if you run line 7 of the code you will see that the RStudio console at the bottom will return the value true. So in other words our value 5 is a whole number. Another alternative that you can use is the code that you can see in line 9 and in this line of code I'm using the operator that you can see here in the middle. So if you run this line of code you will again see that the RStudio console returns the logical value true. Yeah, and the third alternative I want to show you is based on the all equal function as you can see in line 11 of the code and within the all equal function I'm again specifying the name of our data object and then I'm also converting our data object to have the class integer and then I'm checking if these two data objects x and the converted version are the same and again the RStudio console returns the value true. So in this video you have learned that you have to be very careful when you are using the isInteger function because the isInteger function is checking for the class of our data and not if our data is a whole number. If you want to learn more on this topic you could also check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the R programming code of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore if you have liked the video I would be very happy if you leave me a comment or if you give me thumbs up on the video and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.